Today, we are reframing our worth with one of my favorite Bujo spreads, the Tada List. Hello, my friends. Welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell, and today I'm inviting you into my journal, and we're going to create a Tada List. This is my Archer and Olive notebook. This is my second bullet journal for the year 2024. My theme is pattern play, so just a little setup there. Uh, you'll see lots of pattern and color and flowers in my journal. And recently I've been using this Tada list as a way to reframe how I feel about my month, my week, or even my day. And the Tada list is kind of a reverse to-do list. You'll notice I use my planner mostly for day mapping. Like it's basically just a lot of to-do lists. I I need to do these three things today or these 10 things. And that way, especially if I have Sullivan, my three-year-old at home, I can just look at the to-do list and yeah, things might get off the rails and our day might get crazy, but I at least know what needs to get done and I can try to sneak those things in when I have the time. I've already got my um, weekly layout set up for the coming two weeks, sort of the end of October. So I'm gonna flip over, uh, then we're gonna flip over again and that is where we will create the to-do list. So for our to-do list, we are going to be doing a cutout page. So you need to flip to a new page kind of twice. And then we're going to draw this really funny sort of moth butterfly right in the middle, small body, big wings. You're just gonna work it out in pencil, do these huge sort of um, diamond or triangular shaped ring, wings, really rounded shape. Then once you have your butterfly in place and make sure there's a good margin around it on the left and the right and at the bottom as well, actually. Then we're going to do some floral shapes, just messy flowers like five petals or basically a circle all over each wing. And while I do that, let's talk a little bit uh, more about the Tada list, the reverse to-do list. So I was recently uh, the keynote speaker at PlannerCon, this planner conference that was held in Toronto, so quite close to me here in Canada. And I was talking about the uplifting power of creativity, of journaling, about how making things pretty in itself can be very motivating and inspirational. And for me, my journal is not just a place of lists, it's actually where I go to get inspired and to stay inspired and motivated. So I was talking about all of that good stuff, but I also brought up this idea of the Tada list, which is something that I've only recently started doing. And it's a way for me to reframe how I feel about my month. So I'll give you a, an example. This um, summer, we took Sully out of daycare in May and we had him at home with us for about four months before before he started like a half day preschool this fall. So was that good for the business? Not really. We were so focused on parenting that I didn't, I always had time to do the YouTube content, but I didn't always have time to advertise it. So I'm putting out all these great videos and Patreon worksheets and everything, but I'm not like telling anybody about any of it. Um, so that was hard to watch numbers go down and stuff like that. But something like the Tadalis can help you reframe how you feel about your summer, say, by saying, okay, but what I did accomplish this past season was, you know, being more present as a parent, working on behaviors that I wasn't loving with him, you know, so it's about saying what you did get done. And I think that's so important. And it's really good to sort of reframe, especially um, as women, any adults really, I think can just be, we can be so hard on ourselves. So that is the Tada list. That's what we're doing here. What I did is I just went over all of those flowers with my um, mulatto black liner, my fine liner. And then I took my favorite Castell pit pen and I colored in black. That took a minute to really get in there. And then once the black has been laid down, we're taking a Signo white gel pen, my favorite gel pen, and we're reconnecting all of those leaves. So any lines that were lost when the black um, 
Faber-Castell marker went on, you're going to redo those. So all the little stems that were lost, you're redoing them. And then we're putting in loads of extra little flowers and leaves, little berries, just anything delicate. We're just gonna fill in all that space and you can see it coming together. And I think it's really quite pretty. Remember to check the video description for my exact supply list. While the supplies are simple, you just need that Faber-Castell pit pen and the white gel pen and a fine liner. The exact supplies are important because with an, a water-based marker, that white gel pen, it won't stay nice tr a nice true white. So you want the Faber-Castell. The Signo is the best white gel pen I've found. So head to the video description and shop my supplies. And that's a great way to support this channel as well. Okay, I put the last few little white leaves in and she is done. So now for the other side and bam, there we go. <laughs> it looks so good and you didn't have to watch me fill in all of that India ink with the Faber-Castell. That just takes forever. So then of course the next thing we do is start putting back in all those little stems that were lost to the black marker. And once that's done, we can add in the tiny little flowers and leaves and berries and all the delicate, wonderful bits that are going to make this look so stunning. While this looks really quite intricate, it is just so relaxing and chill to create. So, you know, put on a podcast or whatever and just have fun with it. It took me about half an hour, I'd say. Okay, and then that's that. It's pretty much done. One thing we need to do is just put some little scribbles and dots at the center of these larger flowers, just to give them a stamen, a center, and help them kind of pop a little bit really just a little circle made of scribbles and dots that's all I do I didn't want to add too much detail and then for the fun part um, we're gonna cut this butterfly out so you can use um, a cutting mat and an exacto knife or a paper knife or you can do it with scissors and that's what I chose to do just because I had some sitting there and I was too lazy to get up really um, and yeah I just went around carefully made my cuts and then voila magic of YouTube she's done this creates such a great little bookmark in your journal and now you have these two pages you're working on your weekly layout you can flip over any time and add to you your monthly to ta-da list this is going to be my ta-da list for the entire month of October and I'm just going to write things down that I did accomplish if you've ever known the pleasure of adding to your to-do list at the end of the day a thing that was not on it that you did do <laughs> you're like well I did all this stuff on the list but I also did this other thing so then you add that that task just so you can check it off then you will know the pleasure of a ta-da list and it feels really good to reframe and instead of always focusing on what you didn't do you really focus in on what you did do and you might be surprised how long that list really is once you get started and start adding to it thank you friends for journaling along with me hit the subscribe button before you go and head to patreon to view the october bonus video